involved in the consumer movement in 1984. I had been hospitalized for mental illness in the 70s and then met Joseph Rogers, who was a leader of our movement nationally. We ended up getting married and moving down to Philadelphia from New York. And um, he got me involved in mental health advocacy. And it, there's a great feeling about helping others as you've been helped to find recovery, to be empowered, to um, help you know, change the system. And I have seen huge changes in the system from not from, since 1984 to the present, where in 1984, the only people who believed in recovery were people like me who had recovered. And, in, and now we have convinced the powers that be that recovery exists and they are promoting it and unfortunately there are still providers of service who do not really believe in recovery so it's very hard for them I assume to help their clients recover if they themselves don't believe in it but we continue our efforts to educate them and the general public that we are people just like everyone else, people with the lived experience of mental illness but people with a lot of talents, a lot of other uh, abilities and a lot else to us and that uh, we are your neighbors, friends and family. Mm -hmm.